22.57. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. Let's make this background and turn it into this one. And from there, we're going to turn it into this. All of this is because I arted along with Barb Owen who was interviewing and arting along with Shannon Green. So while they were chit-chatting and everybody was saying hello and greetings and whatnot, I got started without instruction. I just, you know, took some gesso and put it on my regular cardstock through that there stencil that y'all just saw. And uh, there will be a list of ingredients below. Let's hope it's complete. Cross your fingers and all that good stuff. So here you can see I'm using delusions. I'm used to using a credit card. That was the first thing was to, you know, smear some paint around on your uh, choice of surface there. I believe um, Shannon Green was using junk mail and I would lie because I just so do not remember what Barb Owen was using. I'm sorry, Barb Fark. So there we go. I'm using what three different colors and it goes through some hot mess stages. Just let me tell you that in advance um, Yeah mm -hmm. It does and actually all of us that were playing along and Barb and Shannon both kind of thought hey gun everybody thought their pieces were going through hot messes as well so yeah. And I'm gonna use that same stencil again I lost it lost some of its effect when I used the uh, three colors on the background you would have been able to see it more better if I had just done a single color but uh, you know hey playing along I was actually filming something else when they came on and told me what they was gonna be doing and I said I'm gonna play with them too and I'm gonna film it too la 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 because I was already out here and already set up and blah 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 and who needs a life story and all that so there we go more instructions now we're going to add some stamps and that's a very small script stamp it may even be dictionary like I don't remember because I don't remember who paid it and uh, it was already on my desk because I was already using it this is a uh, rubber strip that is unmounting a friend of unmounted not mountain hmm, my nose stopped up unmounted and I believe it's uh, kitty cats couldn't decide if it's cats or dogs but I think it's really kitty cats so I'm just stamping around. I tend to do backgrounds so that they can be used in any direction. I seldom do a specifically directional background, if that makes any sense. And now I'm going to stencil with that stencil, cell theory, mini cell theory, I think it is. And I used uh, a a pale blue sky blue robin's egg blue and it doesn't show up very well and i didn't like how it looked so i will use a purple that i end up mixing with that same light blue hey good. everybody <laughs> Every once in a while, if I pause, not that you'll be able to notice because, you know, I've like sped this up like a chameleon times or something. That's the purple. It looks really dark blue, but it was purple. Whatever. Anyway, if, if you see sort of pausing, it's because I'm having to chat because, you know, it was a live stream. It's a recorded stream now, which you will find a link below to both Barb Owen's original stream that I was participated in live but it's now recorded and a link to Shannon Green's uh, YouTube as well because she's a YouTuber and all three of us are YouTubers and yeah I'm not live well I'm alive I'm just not live <laughs> okay so we stenciled on and smeared around paint and now we are to add uh, collage uh, material I chose a piece of deli wrap that probably came from either Patty Tolly Parish or Journal Artista because that's the stack I'm, I'm working out of. I'm trying to use it at and, you know, not hoard it anymore. Treasure, I mean, treasure it. I'm treasure. And now I'm just going to treasure it in a new form. Okay. So anyway, it was deli wrap. It was 
jelly printed registered trademark of jelly arts uh, on deli wrap which is a sandwich paper of sorts and um, yeah used to uh, use what I used liquid text liquid matte medium over there it's gotten a little bit more and now that we got that done uh, I had to I had to stop watching the live stream I had plans or you know I had junk I had to go do people I got a real life here okay okay so when I came back I, I watched the rest of the stream a couple days later and found out you know the last thing to do was doodling y'all I don't know if y'all know I'm not that big a fan of doodling though I tend to screw things up when it comes to doodling see watch this I'm using these Crayola slick sticks which they are pretty cool just saying they smear around really good and look it's just it's Crayola y'all crayon it's a crayon and it just came right up with that there uh, baby wipe I didn't like how it looked, so now I'm going to make some lines with this orange one. And uh, you're going to see momentarily, I opened my yellow one. Holy smokes, that fell right out onto the floor. It looks like it dried up a little more. It's not quite so slick anymore. It shrank in size and not quite so slick. It means I need to use them up more quicker, -er. mm -hmm, faster even. So uh, I'm cleaning off where I smeared it now this is a mask that I made some time ago I can link you guys up to um, the video where I used that uh, plastic folder thing and made some mask for um, I don't know was cr uh, creative arts collaboration perhaps probably maybe video hop oh, I love right now because I don't know I should have researched that before I started my voiceover. Anyway, I showed you where I made a, a mask, and this was some of the leftover pieces of that same plastic folder. And, you know, I made that little, you know, what do they call that? Dental work, because it sort of resembles teeth. In they, that's what they call it in woodworking, and I'm going to call it the same thing, otherwise known as a notch. <laughs> And I'm going to use some inks because evidently I just felt like if I'm going to doodle, I'm just going to go all out and just, you know, do something I don't do on a normal basis and don't really know how to do. So there I'm using my pen nibs that, you know, it took me over a year to find. Huh? Just saying. Here you go. <laughs> going to make some, uh, what am I making? Oh, I'm going to make some, uh, this is a Payne's Gray, which, you know, is what it's pretty heavy. It looks black. And when it's... Uh, kind of melted out it goes bluish uh, well it does so I'm gonna ink that around oh I need my water where's my water there's my water I had to go get it because I actually took my water and put it in a watercolor bag so I can go back and forth to the to the gallery you know because we were doing watercolor stuff and I'm tired of doing watercolor so I'm telling them I'm gonna start doing acrylics again so they'll just have to watercolor and all acrylic and so there we go so anywho there we go now I've got donuts who doesn't like a green donut okay with black ice and smooshed around it or you know whatever so if I had stopped right there it'd been good but I kept going and going and go actually this would have been okay too so take uh, I have two different white or actually I have three different white marker pens that was the craft smart it did okay it's um, not as opaque as a Maltov 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 Mo Maltov <laughs> It's in the ingredients spelled out, so yeah. There, I added some little darks. <laughs> darks? I added some white dots to the little black dental. Dentine. Dental. Yeah. Notches. And now I'm making circles with a uh, violet color ink. I go back and add two more circles next to the one circle because the one circle by itself just looks ridiculous. Not that you could even tell in the video. But I could tell in real life. And we know that's all that matters is real life, right? Uh, that life we imagine. So there we are. So maybe I, oh, I guess I did show you. Ed. Anyway, okay, now that was it. The background was done. Mm -hmm. 
I did not take a picture of that. Now I've decided I'm going to turn this background, uh, you know, also going to be a journal page, obviously, because it's my regular size journal page. I'm going to turn it into a greeting card. And uh, so I'm typing out uh, the, uh, the sentiment for the journal page. It's rain or shine. And this is where I should never, I should never have splattered. I don't know. It just did something to make it really, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like it. So I decided why not, you know, add some white dent stuff and dot that too. And now we're going to matte medium on the sentiment. I guess I could have added that a little more better, but that's probably about the order I did it in. I'm sure that's the order I did it in if that's the way the video loaded up. So yeah, there we go. Matte medium. Umbrella man. Mm -hmm. The ingredients below. Links below. La 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 la. And now we're going to outline the words because you can't see them that well. I didn't want to do it in black because I thought it, the page was dark enough. So I did white. And at some point I add like a little jiggy joggy line, dark colored line around his feet there so that, you know, it looks like he's standing at. Then I scanned it, brightened up the color some, you know, with the editing software there on the big PC, which also I might add now has Windows 10. Thank you, not. And I'm using an ATG to stick the tape on the back of the uh, now printed selfie Canon printed picture that's going to be on the card and this is the inside sentiment for the card which is also part of the Rain Man whatever stamp set there. Live the life you imagine. So see rain or shine. Live the life you imagined. And now I'm just adding my typical purple door and the date year stamp date year stamp on the back of the card because you know that's what I do. That's what I do. People want to make cards for y'all. Mm -hmm. Card lottery coming up. Now I'm going to stamp the outside of the envelope because you know you need a little something something on the outside of the envelope. And I used what was that yellow oak? Yeller? <laughs> yeller ochre. Pale ochre. Ink. Archival ink. And there's our card. And get some close ups of that. Uh, background. I mean, you know, once I got it brightened up on the computer, I like it. But in real life, the, the page is actually just a little too dark and dingy for me. So that's just going to wrap it up. Be sure to check out the stream that I ordered along with Barb Owen and Shannon Green's link because she's funny too and fun. And uh, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy art, y'all.